Hi, everyone. It is February 26, 2021. I came across this tweet, Build Back Better, Build Back Better, Build Back Better, Prime Minister of Pakistan and U.S. President and, oh, Boris Johnson, U.K., Trudeau, Canada. Everybody's building back better. Like, it's a slogan that everybody is just repeating all nation leaders are repeating, build back better. Isn't that odd? Kind of makes you think that there's, well, uh, all these nation leaders, they're all working together, you know, alone, but together, to really steer their nations in exactly the same direction as all other nations. It's weird, right? Don't you think? They're all saying build back better. So I just want to show you that, um, well, one could really think that, wow, there really is a worldwide conspiracy to build back better, uh, and that building back better, we don't get a say in how it is built back better, that these are the puppets that are working for those behind the curtain. (gasps) I said it. Could be a conspiracy. I mean, well, Take a look at what I have, and then ask yourself, how is it that you don't see a conspiracy taking place? But it's almost like a product, Build Back Better. We've all bought it, and we're, well, we've plugged it in, and we're all going to build back better. We're all going to build back better in exactly the same way to unify the world to be the exact same. Oh, that really sounds pretty boring to me. But the Build Back Better is definitely trending. No, Joe didn't make this up on his own. I don't think he has the cognitive ability to come up with, hey, how about Build Back Better? Build Back Better. You know, (laughs) there's this video and Oh, God, you do the search of this Build Back Better stuff, and you you find, you know, these kinds of things where, well, who came up with Build Back Better first? Was it Biden or was it Johnson? We owe it to future generations to build back better. We have a great opportunity to build back and build back better. And to do things differently, to build back better and to build back bolder. And folks, it's not sufficient to build back. We have to build back better. That's what my plan is, to build back better. It's bold. Well, considering that, um, you know, plagiary, yeah, this guy has plagiarized so much, Biden, that, yeah, one would think it's definitely Johnson. And, well, Joe Biden just stole it. Build back better. Oh, that sounds good. Let's use it, Kamala. Okay, Joe, let's go with it. Build back better. Wow. Well, it's not only the U.S. president, but build back better. Asia? In the Pacific? Build back better? Wow. Oh, welcome to the United Nations. Build back better. Let's see. Latin American Economic Outlook 2020. We're going to build back better Latin America. Huh. Africa building back better. International Labor Organization. And even in Fiji, we're going to build back better. The World Bank. Oh, the World Bank. Build back better. United Nations Office for Disaster Resist, uh, Risk Reduction. Build back better. Build Back Better. What is it? What should it be? 
the Asian Development Bank, banks, United Nation, even the World Health Organization, uh, they're all they're all in alignment with this build back better. It does seem as if the world is unifying under the globalists plan to reshape the world. Ah, uh, but that's just a conspiracy. Don't believe me. Don't believe a crazy conspiracy theorist. World Bank Group, build back better. World Health Organization, building back better. Building back better. United Nations, here we go again. International Peace Bureau, build back better. Again, for peace. See, it's build back better, leaving no one behind. Building back better. Post-disaster recovery. Everyone is on it. Everyone. Build back better. Relief web. Building back better. A sustainable, resilient recovery after COVID-19. OECD. Build back better. World Economic Forum. The 10 principles for building back better. New goals. Socially just and ecologically safe. Green infrastructure and uh, provision, uh, provisioning, provisioning, protect environmental standards, universal basic services, guaranteed livelihoods. What does this mean? That's the UBI, the universal basic income for those universal basic services. And fair distribution, what does that mean? 90% of the people's world will be in poverty, but it'll be fair. You'll enjoy it, because you won't own anything. <laughs> That'll get to better democracy. Well-being, economics, organizations, cooperation, public control of money public control of money. Public? Does that mean the public will control their money? Oh, no. No. See, you now have private control, which means you get to control your money. But the more we go digital, the less control you will have. Build back better. Oh, man. Don't you wish... People would wake up. Oh, wow. It is phenomenal how you, I'm telling you, you do a search on Build Back Better, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on um, whatever. Everybody's on it. Everybody is on it. Well, this is how we will build back better. The World Economic Forum, the Great Reset, None of it is a conspiracy. It is being implemented as I speak. And, well, their plans, the agendas, have only accelerated so fast that it is mind-boggling, overwhelming, hard to really grasp all of the changes that are taking place. But here, I mean, the World Economic Forum, actually, on their website on YouTube, have ads for the Great Reset. Mm, handful of and if you watch this, I'll put the link below. You will own nothing, and you will be happy. Warnings of Orwellian Great Reset. Sky News Australia has some good, honest, truthful broadcasts, unlike the U.S. of A. Um, here, 
World Economic Forum right here on their channel. They only have half a million subscribers. <laughs> That's funny. Well, can you rent everything you need in life? Click on the link, go to their channel, and you can like this video, or you can make a comment, you can share it. Maybe in 50 years, you won't own anything. They've accelerated all of the agendas. They are running into home base. This is the plan to make the world better. Don't worry, you'll have a guaranteed Income? I thought this was interesting. Um, sorry, that's the same uh, Sky News broadcast, but here is Klaus Schwab. He's talking about how we must prepare for an angrier world. When you have people like Klaus Schwab, and then you have the Kamala Harris's and the uh, Joe Biden's and the Elizabeth Warren's and the Pelosi's and the Schumer's and well then you know you all have the equivalent in your nations the Merkel's the uh, Johnson's the oh god Morrison's it, they're all working to destroy us when you destroy somebody's livelihood and they are stressed to the max, and they can't feed their children, and they can't get another job, and they can't and can't and can't, and they no longer have choice or opportunity, they get angry. And they're doing this to the world, to the world's people, destroying them to bring in, well, this great reset, this build back better. You got to destroy, then you build back better. I don't know how it will play out in uh, November, but what we know is that we will end up with many more unemployed and uh, particularly also people in the gray economy, which are not counted for, uh, who lose their jobs. So we will see definitely a lot of anger uh, already now, but probably... What we will see is a lot of anger now and probably increase by the end of the year. Yeah. And it will increase. Of course it will. <laughs> okay. Unemployment figures for last week. Um, first time filing for unemployment. Over 750,000. On average, every week since March 2020, one million on average, one million have filed for unemployment every week. How many people do you think are working in just the United States alone? Okay, we got a lot of anger. You may not be sensing it, feeling it, seeing it, hearing it. I am actually. 
in my strange encounters with strangers on the street, um, it's going to get worse. Because these people are bringing about worldwide destruction to build back better. And that building back is for their own sick, twisted, twisted desires. You know, what we are living and what I know is coming. And I'm sure a lot of you also know an awful lot is coming and it ain't going to be good. Are you pissed that you can't get through to people? These people have engineered. They have socially engineered. They have engineered the economy. Uh, everything. But it's a conspiracy. Well, all you have to do is just take a brief look beyond your own little life and you will realize something is very wrong with the world. You know, did Bojo steal, steal Build Back Better? Tagline from Biden. That was probably Biden. No, oh wait, no. They got their script from people like Klaus Schwab. Build Back Better. And it kind of looks like that Nazi salute. Mm, I don't know. So, Scottish, oh, a Scottish recovery network? They're building back better in Scotland too? Scottish Recovery Network, build back better. At our online conversation cafes, people told us a mental health recovery mindset was helping them to navigate COVID-19. Seeing it as a journey with ups and downs, focusing on what they can do not what they can't. Engaging with peer support and sharing experiences. Using recovery approaches and skills to help others. As we plan for the future, we need to build on what we have learned from lockdown. Reflect on what is important to people. Peer support, lived experience, community. We need to be courageous and recognize where change can be empowering. Most of all, we need to put lived experience at the heart of mental health support. Scottish Recovery Network, www.scottishrecovery.net Build Back Better animation. Oh boy. We must seize this opportunity to build back better build more houses to give people a chance to have a home of their own, build more hospitals and rebuild more schools so that public services have the tools they need. Build Doesn't he look cute with the kids? Doesn't he look like a big kid? Oh, another animation and it's narrated by Elizabeth Warren. America has been knocked down. Today, too many families are struggling to make ends meet and too many parents are worried about the economic future for their children. But the truth is, long before COVID, millions were already locked out of an economy that rewards wealth over work. And Black, Latino, Asian Americans, Indigenous people, immigrants and women, they've never been welcomed as full participants in the American economy. We can't just build back things the way they were before. We have to build back better. Oh my God. How is it that people can't see that when they start speaking their slogans all over the world, the same words repeated, 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 the people can't see an agenda here? 
I'm Congresswoman Joyce Beatty. Greetings and congratulations to President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Thank you for being great leaders, moving our country from agony to action, starting by putting Americans first. I'm with you, the Congressional Black Caucus is with you, and the nation is with you to address COVID-19, the economy, and social justices. We are fighting for our families, fighting for our communities, fighting for freedom. Together, we build back better. Oh, she's got a great smile. Build back better. Oh, these people are just so, I don't know, compassionate, empathetic, and they so want us to have a good life. I mean, what could be better than these people who are really working hard to build back better? Reimagine the justice system, huh? Building back better, reimagining. All of these are World Economic Forum sound bites. And here we have Building Back Better 2020 UN General Assembly confronts the COVID 19 pandemic. And the UN Assembly 2020 was all about building back better. The whole world building back better. Looks like the United States uh, absented itself. Build back better after COVID-19. Why corporations need a radical redesign. Corporations too are building back better. There are so many webinars, oh my God, for Build Back Better. World Resources Institute. And it was all brought about because of COVID-19. COVID-19. It showed us. Well, the world was not so great, so we've got to build it back better. COVID-19. It showed us the injustices. You know, no white people were harmed by the lockdowns. Only minorities. So we've got to fix that. You know, the inequalities in wealth. While, or meanwhile, what we have is governments who are, well, certainly the United States I can speak to. You have those um, stimulus packages that have increased the wealth of the already wealthy and haven't really helped a whole lot of Americans. Small businesses destroyed a whole lot. Restaurants, hair salons, small businesses all over have shut their doors permanently. People laid off. Unemployment, still hearing from people who filed months ago, haven't received a dime. Wow. Well, it sure did show us the inequalities, huh? World Economic Forum, Davos. Here we are, the Great Reset. 15 things about the Great Reset. And I can't play this video because I have no doubt that I would get a copyright strike because whoever this woman is, narrating this video well she keeps talking about those conspiracy theorists who are putting out that disinformation about the great reset how great it is and you have to believe these people it's great it's great and as we continue to fight this virus we also can't forget that climate change still remains one of the greatest challenges of our time. And in fact, COVID-19 and the climate crisis have a lot in common. Like the virus, the impacts of climate change are far worse for racialized communities, indigenous peoples, and women. Also, any failure to act immediately and decisively 
will only make the costs of these crises higher and worse over time. But this global pandemic has also created an opportunity to build back better. <laughs> it's amazing to me, and it has been for many decades, that we actually think that these people are better than us? This guy is a twerp. He's reading a script. He's playing his role. And without his family, he'd be nothing. He'd be the jerk on your street, the neighbor you would prefer to have them move somewhere else. Sustainability first. How to build back better. It's all about Agenda 23. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Carol, what are you talking about? Yeah, you know, that's what's also really amazing. And it, it really truly has kind of uh, made life Kafkaesque. You know, it's right there on the United Nations website, Agenda 2030. You got nation leaders talking about Agenda 2030, sustainability. Everybody is talking about sustainability. And you still can't get through to people because they look at you like you're crazy. Oh, man. Here, another Building Back Better, Canada in 2030. Huh, but that's just crazy, Carol. It's crazy. It's a conspiracy theory. And Building Back Better. United Nations Global Compact. And nations actually sign on to these compacts, like the migration, the refugees, they sign on to compacts to open their borders to allow these immigrants to come on in, the refugees to come on in. I mean, one solution to the refugee problem is why not uh, U.S. in particular, stop bombing these nations. Maybe, maybe if we stopped bombing them, destroying their nation, that they'd continue to live in their nation. They probably would prefer that. I don't know. Call me crazy. This session is going to be about building back better. and this Enough. Building back. Oh, oh, my God. You can't tell me the Pope is on it. Oh, he is. Building back better. Build back better. Designing a future that leaves no one behind. Doesn't that sound great? Building back better. UN Environment Program. Build back better. Who said that catchphrase first? Whoever got it from people like Klaus Schwab. Building Back Better, 2020 UN General Assembly, Build Back Better. Everybody's on it. Build Back Better, cities at the front lines. Boris Johnson, <gasps> Build Back Better. Who's this guy, John Barry? I don't even know. He looks familiar. But the city's role to build back better. Elizabeth Warren, World Economic Forum. Wow, everybody. So many organizations and NGOs and Oh, law firms, justice systems, all systems, everything. Build back better, build back better, build back better, build back better. Resilience for the future. It does seem like it was a, a, a well, a rather detailed plan that they could not have just, you know, put together in the middle of 2020 because of, you know, COVID-19, uh, and then spread it about the world and to all organizations and all institutions and firms and, and then suddenly you see all of this. Now, nah, I think, I think they had this in the works already, right? Ah, oh, you're crazy. It's obvious that there is a deliberate agenda in the works all over the world. I know it's hard to grasp. 
that a few people got this together. That it's been in the works for oh, a whole long time. But really, just a few wealthy, you don't know the kind of wealth we're talking about. So, they developed NGOs to implement their plan. They developed organizations like the United Nations to implement their plan to literally steal the world from all of us and make us their slave. And it's already being felt by an awful lot of people. Children's Health Care Canada, Building Back Better. Building Back Better. Oh, who's that guy? I think I know his name. Haiti. Is Haiti Building Back Better? A resilient Caribbean Building Back Better. Build Back Better compilation. Did I bring that up? I may have, but let's see. Build Back Better. Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. It's a very pertinent question to ask how do we build back better? To build back better or whatever. We have a chance to reset the clock and build back better than before. To build back better than before. Remember the, the terrible damage of COVID as we try to build back from this uh, global pandemic. Joe Biden calls it Build Back Better. Build Back Better. Building Back Better. To do things differently. To build back better. We're going to build it back better. And build it back better. To my plan to build back better. Uh, start taking all the problems that have been created in right. education and mental health and start to, to build back in a positive way. I have launched a booklet called Build Back Better, written after coronavirus. It's about building this country back better. Growing conspiracy following it. It is called The Great Reset. An unprecedented opportunity to rethink and reset the ways in which we live. The great opportunity for reset. The theory even calls Mr. Biden's campaign slogan, Build Back Better, a front for the conspiracy. Build back better. Building back better our economy. Build back better. All elements of the Great Reset are fundamental to building the future we need. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. It's a big effort to, some would say, to build back, back better. We would say, to really have a great reset. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. These people, war criminals, criminals, the criminally insane, are in charge. They rule us. See, our psyche was this slave mentality decades and decades ago. If we didn't have that mentality, we could have stopped this. If we didn't put these people on a pedestal, we wouldn't be afraid of them today. They're sick, twisted, psychopathic, nut jobs, subhuman, they don't care about you. They care very much about the people who give them the order to get out there and speak words like build back better or reimagine. Build back better is a cover for the radical intentions of the left. And it is. Let's just watch a few minutes. Do you ever feel that the world has gone completely mad? Well, I know I do. There is a stream of insanity 
that permeates and corrupts our culture with such persistence that resistance seems futile. It's as if everything that our society was built on is being deliberately dismantled so that it can be rebuilt in another image. Now that process could even become a catchy slogan. Maybe something like, build back better. Aha, that's it, build back better. It sounds so positive and so optimistic that everyone is bound to love it and we can all live in harmony. Well, the problem is there is already a campaign formed around build back better and like every lefty agenda, the innocuous sounding words are simply cover for their intentions. We've seen it before in their previous campaigns when the radical agenda was masked by nodding platitudes. Black Lives Matter, climate change, Green New Deal, safe schools. They were all very clever marketing slogans designed to mask radical foundations. Now the Building Back Better agenda is the culmination of their efforts to date and it's an omnibus offensive designed to radically change how we live our lives. But don't take my word for it. The World Economic Forum, and that's the group behind the Triple B agenda, makes it very clear. To build back better, we must reinvent capitalism. Their website tells us we need to reset and that a green recovery is vital to create more resilient economies and foster equality and sustainable outcomes. They want business to align with the natural, social and economic systems on which they depend to drive equitable and sustainable growth and to reinvent capitalism itself. Well, that sounds an awful lot like global socialism to me. I mean, boring old capitalism has lifted more people out of poverty than any government program ever has. It provides jobs, it sustains billions of people, whereas governments have only proven to mismanage almost everything they touch. But these wannabe socialist overlords will have you believe that business is the problem rather than the government. If only we decarbonised, used green stimulus measures and had more government regulation, everything would be just peachy. Now, according to the triple B rated Great Reset, COVID-19 has been the great awakening for us all. Apparently, it's the planet's way of teaching us a lesson about the evils of free markets and capitalist enterprise. Of course, to believe that, you'd have to forget that COVID-19 was a Chinese government lab experiment unleashed on the world and that the terror instilled in the populace was entirely generated by government and that overreaction has done more damage than this virus ever will. And that's quite true. So, do the world's people need to wake up? Do they need to get out of their slumber, their laziness, their self-centeredness to begin to attend to the reality that we are living? Absolutely. But if you have a way of doing that successfully, hey, drop a comment below. This Build Back Better, The Great Reset, all of it, it is coming at us like a freight train with no brakes, and that freight train is going down a very, very steep hill. <laughs>